Hello everyone, welcome back. This video, we're gonna be talking about static methods and how to create them and where they are available to us. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. So taking a look at this main method, you'll notice immediately that it has this keyword static. Now, some people prefer to immediately get out of this method and start processing elsewhere, such as in this method down here. Now you can see the way we do this is we create an instance of whatever class we're in, program, give it an identifier and say new program. That's how you make an instance, so an object, and then you can invoke methods on that object, such as do something. Now when we have a static method, we do not create an instance, and we're going to create an example of this so we can see this in progress. But just to show you guys, program.main is accessible directly from program, which is a class. So static methods are made available directly on the class. Now you're not probably going to want to do program.main in here. That sounds like a bad idea, executing main from main. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to go into this user class and we're going to create a static method. So very simple class here. We're gonna go down here and we're just going to create a new method. And what this is gonna do is it's going to output a user. So we'll say public static void give it a name such as print user. Now before we define the parameters or any of the code, let's just take a look at how we do this. So going back to program.cs, we'll start in this do something method. We can create an instance of a user by doing this. And you can see in this situation, we say the type, give it a name and say new user, just like we did up here. This is how we create an object. User is the object and we can call methods on this, such as output. But the thing is, this is not the method we just created. Looking back at our class, that's actually this method right here, which you can see the code for here. It's not static. So where is the static one, print user? Well, that's actually going to be, and if I can minimize this, uh, there we go. That's actually going to be accessed directly on the class, user.printUser. So you don't make an instance of it. And what we can do is we can pass in a user here to output it. So let's define that code. First, we're going to take a user, give it a name such as user, and we can just say console.writeLine static method print user. And then we'll just output the, the actual user information. <laughs> we'll just say user output, like so. And we'll pass in a zero because we have a parameter here. So if you take a look at this code, that's just saying how many times you want to print the user, but ultimately it's just going to print first name plus last name, or alternatively, you could even just do the full name, which combines first name and last name. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. <laughs> we have this static method, we pass in a user, and then we just announce that this is a static method, and we, we invoke the output method on that user object. All right, so let's go back to this one, run it, and phew, it still works. So we get static method, and then it says print user, it's not outputting the person's name, but that's because we actually didn't even assign any values to it. So we would just say user dot first name, give it a value, same for last name. All right, so that kind of sums it up. Essentially, when you're working with a static method, you call it directly on the class. Think of it as a utility method that has something to do with users. You can categorize it by attaching it to a class that is appropriate for what it does. So user dot print user, or you could just call it print. You know it has to do with users though because it's attached to that class. Instance methods, on the other hand, you create an instance of it by saying new user and then the, the identifier dot method name. So there you go. In the next video, we're gonna get a little bit more work with this by creating another static method. So stay tuned.